Well, our next guest calls higher rates a chronic issue for banks. Paul McCulley is PIMCO's former chief economist. Paul now teaches Fed watching at Georgetown. Paul, it's great to have you here with us. Obviously, we heard from Powell the last couple of days here on, uh, on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. He talked about a lot of things, though, I guess not a lot that we learned was new. Let's get your take on where we are right now in Fed policy with this pause. How long should we be in a pause scenario for rates? Well, that's the key question everyone wants to know. I, th I think that Fed policy is actually in a pretty good place right now, uh, even though the marketplace seems to be wrapped around the axle about the fact there's going to be a couple more hikes in the dot plot. The Fed's restricting. That is hugely important. They've gone from uber easy, I mean, zero and all that sort of thing, to 500 basis points inside of 15 months. They're in restrictive. The yield curve is very much inverted, and inflation is coming down. Uh, so I think the Fed is in a good place, but they don't want to declare victory early. They want to declare victory late. So the price tag of the pause last week was two more hikes in the dot plot. Uh, that's not a policy uh, that's voted upon, but essentially, Powell said, you know, that's a pretty good guess. So essentially, the marketplace has to uh, grip with the notion that the Fed's not finished. They're almost finished, but not finished. The Fed's not ready to, con to declare they are sufficiently restricted. Paul, it's Karen. Thanks for being on. I know you, you've been in the camp sort of there. They're much closer to done or should be done. But inflation is still not remotely close, right? They are two d integers away from the right first number. So how do you how do you square those two thoughts? Well, the 2 percent inflation target is a long term target. It is not necessarily a real time target. Uh, they have it out there as a load star, and we've come down dramatically on the headline. We haven't done nearly as much on core, in part because the housing market is lagging in the data, and in part because the labor market is still strong, feeding through to uh, uh, services prices. But inflation is very much going the right direction. They will declare sufficiently restrictive with a three handle. They don't need to get all the way to two. Uh, so it's out there as a lodestar, but it is not a binding constraint on the Fed declaring victory later in this year after it has one or two more hikes, possibly. It's, uh, we, we got another employment report, obviously another CPI report. Uh, before the next FOMC meeting. So essentially, the the Fed wanted to push the market out in time for finished and a pivot, and I think it's successfully done that. I was kind of just going to ask that question. I mean, in some ways, it feels like we're in the upside down. Everything's like a little wacky, right? Inflation is coming down, but it's still pretty high. Unemployment is still really low, but the yield curve has been inverted for over a year. I mean, has the Fed successfully helped us avoid a recession, or are we not there Yet, are we waiting for it to happen, or have we pivoted away? I, I think we're primed for a soft landing. I don't think that we have to have a recession. Uh, I really don't. It's usually important that the Fed not over tighten, but I think they're in a good place uh, to get a soft landing. Uh, and the inverted yield curve can be taken as a sign that there's a recession coming, or it can be taken as a sign and an endorsement that the Fed is going to be successful in bringing down inflation. And when it's successful, then you can have the front end of the yield curve come down. But essentially, Chair Powell was saying, yes, that's possible, but don't discount it now. We still have a bit more work to do. We're not to the holy grail. Uh, and I think that's where we are now. But I would not look at the yield curve as a sign that a recession is baked in the cake, but rather a sign that the market believes the Fed will be successful in getting inflation down toward that 2%, not to 2%.